Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to find the vertices, the foci, the asymptotes, and how to graph a hyperbola. So the question is going to be find the vertices, foci, which is the plural of focus, and asymptotes, asymptotes of the hyperbola. And a hyperbola in this example is 9x squared minus 16y squared equals 144. All right, so let's go through this uh, very, very carefully. Solution. So to do a problem like this, to actually understand it, you have to know a lot of stuff. And I kind of like that. And you're going to see as we go through it, how everything progresses. So there's certain things you should know and certain things you should memorize. To start off, you should recognize that it is indeed a hyperbola. And you know that because there's a minus sign and these numbers are different. This needs to be a one, okay? Because remember the formula for a hyperbola looks like this, x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared equals one. This is the formula uh, for a hyperbola centered at the origin, okay? So we need this to be a one, so let's make it a one. To do that, we can just divide by 144. So divide each term by 144. We're basically dividing the entire left-hand side by 144 and then breaking it up, okay? So we are skipping a step. Uh, nine goes into 144 16 times. So this will be x squared over 16 minus y squared over nine, right, nine, and this is equal to one. Okay, so there is our hyperbola. The center is zero, zero, so it's, it's gonna start at the origin. Um, a is always the square root of whatever number is here, okay, in a hyperbola. So A, and that's, again, something you should know, very helpful. So A is four, and B is the square root of this number. Because the x comes first, the hyperbola opens left and right. If the y comes first and there was like a minus here and an x, so if it was reversed, if it was y squared over 9 minus x squared over 16, then it would open up and down. x comes first, opens left and right. y comes first, opens up and down. Okay, so x comes first, it's going to open. So I like to write it down, opens left, right. I actually write it down when I'm working out, when I'm working it out or when like I'm teaching a class because it's very important to know that when the x comes first, it opens left and right. That's how you know how to graph it. Let's go ahead and find the foci and the asymptotes before we graph it. So there is an equation um, that relates a, b, and c in a hyperbola. The formula is c squared equals a squared. And because it's a hyperbola, you switch the sign, so plus. Well, actually, you always switch the sign. So if it was an ellipse, it'd be a plus here, and there'd be a minus here. So it's just always the opposite, okay? So if there's a minus, you put a plus. If there's a plus, you put a minus. All right, good stuff. Now we can just plug in A and B and solve for C. So C squared is equal to, well, A is 4, so it's going to be 4 squared. And then B is 3, so it's 3 squared. So C squared is equal to 16 plus 9. So C squared is equal to 25. So C is equal to 5, and that's going to be our C. Okay, we're going to, we're going to use this to find the foci. And we could, we can, I could write down the foci now, but let's just wait. All right, so to find the asymptotes, the formula for the asymptotes is Y equals plus or minus B over A times X. Now, um, the way to remember this, and this is my way, Normally, the x comes first. On most hyperbolas, the x comes first. So you think it would be a over b, but no, no, it's backwards, it's b over a. So that's how my mind does it. I think it's a, I know it's backwards. I always think it should be a over b because this is like the regular hyperbola, the one that opens left and right. It's the more common one. So you would expect the formula to be a over b, but no, it's backwards, it's b over a. If the y comes first, it's a over b. Let's plug these in and get our asymptotes. So it'll be 3 over 4, and then our plus or minus and our x. Let's go ahead and write down the foci now. So the foci are going to be 
plus or minus five comma zero. You might say, how did, how did you know that? It's because it opens left and right. Let's graph it and I'll show you exactly what the foci look like on the graph. So here's the y-axis, here's the x-axis. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna come back to this. Okay, these are the asymptotes. I'm gonna explain that again, no worries. Probably should have waited, but we're gonna come back because sometimes the plus or minus five is here, right? And that's key. So it opens left and right, that's important. So because it opens left and right, you go left and right by A from the center, which is zero, zero. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's because it opens left and right, okay? If it opens up and down, you go up and down by A. Now you go up and down by three. And then you draw this rectangle. This rectangle is called the fundamental rectangle. And for some reason, every time I say fundamental rectangle, I picture a guy with glasses and an old hat and a beard. I don't know why. It's just, it's just this image I have. Um, so there's the fundamental rectangle. The asymptotes do this, and they go through the corners of the rectangle. It's really cool, right? And it opens left and right, so it looks like this. It's a lot of information. If you've never seen this, you're probably like, whoa. It opens towards the foci. That's how I know it's here. So this is, this is one of the foci. This is 5, 0. And this is the other foci. It's going to be the ordered pair negative 5, 0. So those are the foci. That's how I know it was there. If it opens up and down, you can clearly see that the, the, the 5 would go here in place of the 0, right? And I believe that's it. We've got the graph, right? We've got uh, the asymptotes. Oh, we're missing the vertices. So what are those? Those are actually on the hyperbola, right? So the vertices are here. So it'll be uh, 4, 0 and negative 4, 0. So the vertices are going to be plus or minus 4, 0. Let's go through the whole thing one more time because I know it's a lot of information and I've taught pre-calc so many times and this is always the hardest test. People struggle so much with this. It's, it's hard. It's very, very hard. Also, there's different books that teach it different ways, which makes it harder. So if you saw this in like high school and then you go to college and you have a different book that teaches it a different way, it makes it even harder. I've actually had to teach this both ways uh, using slightly different formulas and uh, no fun. <laughs> this is the best way in my opinion. So find the vertices, foci, and asymptotes of this hyperbola here. 9x squared minus 16y squared equals 144. So first thing is first, you realize it's a hyperbola because there's a minus here and these numbers are different. Got to make this a 1 to make it match this formula. In a hyperbola, A is always going to be the square root of whatever number is here. And B is always going to be the square root of whatever number is here. So we have our A and B. The X comes first, so it opens left and right. And now we can find C. The formula that relates A, B, and C is C squared equals A squared plus B squared. I know it's this because you just always switch the sign. So for example, if you were dealing with an ellipse, you'd have a plus sign here and a minus sign here. We plug in our A and our B, we solve for C. And then let's come back to the foci in a minute, but that's the foci. I know it's that, by the way, because it opens left and right, and it opens towards the foci, so I know that it's going to be plus or minus 5, comma, 0. As shown here by the graph, it's on the x-axis, right? The asymptotes are given by the formula y equals plus or minus b over a times x. However, um, if the y comes first, it's a over b times x. And then to graph it, because it opens left and right, from the center, you go left and right by a. Then you go up and down by b. You draw that rectangle. Again, it's called the fundamental rectangle. It has the word fun in it. Um, <laughs> and then you draw the asymptotes. It opens left and right. The vertices are always on the hyperbola. So those are the vertices there. There's the foci. There's the asymptotes. There's the graph. That's everything. I hope it's been helpful. If you want to learn math, I have courses. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com. Actually, they're on Udemy. But please use the links from my website uh, if you want to check them out. I've got courses on all kinds of mathematics. Anyways, I hope you learned something from this video. I know it's not easy if you've never seen it. If you've seen it and you know it, it's easy. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good stuff. Take care.